Hello everyone, this is Shrikar here. Today I will be demoing a simple Chrome extension called the Zillow Listing Analyzer. Uh, so as uh, an example of that listing or how it works is for every listing on Zillow.com, you can actually see this red color uh, alert saying that whether this particular uh, listing is actually a good deal or a bad deal. So the, it's the criteria for deciding whether it's a good deal or bad deal is very simple. If the mortgage is less than the rent in that area, it's it's a good deal. Um, uh, otherwise, it's, it's a bad deal. So for example, this particular uh, house in San Jose looks like the monthly cash flow is going to be negative $947 because the mortgage is forty thirty and the rent is thirty eighty three. Right. So let's see like what will happen if I just go to some uh, place where the there are actually uh, go, good deals. For example, let's say Tampa, Florida. Um, let's find one of this house. Um, and as you can see, if you just go and click on this analyze deal. Looks like there is an issue, but let's figure it out. Um, maybe there is no rent that's probably why yeah we this this currently like page doesn't have the uh rent that's that's an issue we should actually handle uh let's look at this one this one yeah this one has the rental uh, value also uh, on the same listing page that's why it's going to tell us whether it's a good deal or not uh, and in this case actually it's a good deal because the mortgage is 1145 but the rent is 4090 so you still make like 345 dollars every month and it's it's a very simple criteria and you can change the criteria however you want uh, but let's see how to build this particular extension um, so for this essentially i'm going to use cursor um, and for people who don't know uh, cursor ai is like a vs code kind of editor which will help you build a code faster um, and also for people who don't know there is actually a curated list of uh, cursor rules called cursor.directory uh, I just took one of the example here and then kind of like modified it for my use case. So in 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 this particular uh, for this particular Chrome extension, I kind of like mentioned uh, like how like you are basically an expert in Chrome extension develop, development and Tailwind. I kind of like provide instructions on like what the code styles and structure should be, naming convention, syntax and formatting and whatnot. And along with that, I also uh, kind of like gave up simple example of like how to send messages because i've seen like many of the chrome extension uh, developers they face issue uh, on basically with respect to sending messages so i actually have tried this extension and that's essentially what you are seeing right now uh, but for this particular example i'm just going to delete everything and start from the beginning so that uh, let's see how much we can actually build this extension um so let me just say uh delete um, to trash so also for this example i'm gonna use um i'm going to use backup backup is another folder which i created before um so let's i'll use the composer view for this um just gonna reset the composer um, and i'm going to tell uh, please uh, look at the add instruction.txt carefully and uh, create a Chrome extension with manifest version three. Um, make sure. Okay, I think it's already started. See what it'll create now. <coughs> so as you can see, right, it's kind of like picking up some of the examples uh, from the instruction.txt. Oh, actually, I didn't talk about instruction.txt. We'll we'll look at it next. Um, So as you can see, like in this composer view, we actually create multiple files in one shot. Um, so let's say accept all for now. Let's go back to the instruction.txt and look at like how it's done. So if you look at the instruction.txt, right, we are essentially telling what it needs to do. For example, create a Chrome extension with so-and-so name uh, where uh, the particular Chrome extension is enabled. In this case, Zillow.com and any property, uh, any pages on Zillow.com. It extracts the estimated mortgage, rental estimate, calculate if it's a property's good deal by comparing the rental estimate to the mortgage payment, so on and so forth. So also, if you look at this one, the this particular section, this is where it's it's interesting to see uh, how I'm nudging cursor.ai to pick the right uh, value 
for example if you look at one example let me just show this particular uh, scenario if you look at this particular um, uh, mortgage i'm going to click on inspect and i'm just going to pick up the span uh, copy copy as html uh, copy element and it is essentially what i have given here right so you can just tell what the value is this was for a previous example which was the where the mortgage was 4030 but in this case i you kind of like copy the span element and then tell in this case it's essentially 1145 right so this is kind of like helping cursor.ai to do the right thing it's not necessary but i think uh it's so there are two ways to handle it one you actually provide um uh, the path yourself later or you let cursor.ai do the path manipulation and identifying the right element to pick but just give some context in where this particular field occurs on the page right similarly for the rental estimate i'm kind of like going down and then picking up this particular rental estimate inspect then i'll say uh, copy element um, and essentially that's what i have pasted here right um, along with that i also have uh, okay you know what actually let's let's try this so copy this one copy as html element 4090 so i'm gonna copy this as 4090 right um and also this is i'll also tell specifically where that uh element new element which we saw uh, should be added in this case it was added below the address bar so i'm gonna pick up this one I select the element again inspect and then pick up this copy or actually let's copy this and closing one copy as a html element then this one okay so the element where i want you to add the good deal or bad deal um or next to this is so and so right um then this is essentially what the instruction was and i kind of like even like actually before showing the instruction.txt actually created all the other files so let's see what will happen right now so if you go to extensions this is the previous one i'll remove this i'll load unpacked this is the youtube tutorial select it um go here select this particular deal so for this example what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back um and pick one of the other page say this one it's as you can see it's actually showing it's it has a good deal right um this is essentially what happens like analyze deal it actually works here um so let's go back and find someone some some place in uh, san diego so let's look at this particular property here um here it's also it's, apparently it's a good deal because the mortgage is 2145 and the rent is 1319 right let's find something which is where it's actually not a good idea to buy a house but rather rent uh, san mateo um, ca homes let's pick this one this case as you can see it's showing it as bad deal right so this is exactly how uh, you can actually build a simple chrome extension uh, using cursor.ai and the composer view uh, so if, uh, feel free to like modify this uh, chrome extension however you want I'll, I'll open source the repo as well um, and if, feel free to like ask me any more questions if you have um, thank you